Hey guys, today we're going to be using the Retiring Penned and Painted stamp set from the current annual catalog. I purchased this a month or so ago and I haven't uh, busted it out yet, so I wanted to make sure to show you guys how wonderful this stamp set is. It doesn't include any sentiments, but it has great floral images and it is a two-step stamp. Um, so you have three or two different types of flowers and then you have your leaves. Um, I love the outline. You can use that by itself or you can use the two-step stamping and create a lay, you know, your layering stamp with different colors to give your stamps dimension. And then you have a little, I don't know what you would call this, but you can put the little flowers on top. And then, so that's two-step stamping. You, those two go together. And then the sweet little ladybug those two go together and then you have your stems for these flowers and then you have a cluster of or a row of dots so it's 17 stamps it's a great amount of stamps and they are the photopolymer which makes lining up easy layering now also another good thing about this stamp set is let's see if I can show you guys these stamps make it something white to put underneath um, mine are dirty, obviously, because I've used them, but each stamp has a little notch. So if you look at the, these two, and then these two, it makes lining up really easy um, if you are not good at layering stamps. I'm also bringing the Labeler Alphabet stamp set. I love the stamp set. This is not retiring. It is carrying over, but... It is great at customizing your own sentiment. And I like it because it reminds me of kind of like vintage typewriter type thing, uh, the font. And I love the solid squares. And we're going to be using the solid squares today. So you will need those two stamp sets. I'm bringing in some thick baker's white. Well, what is it called? <laughs> Whisper white thick baker's twine. I believe this is retiring. I could be wrong. All supplies will be listed below. If it is already out of stock for some reason, um, when I checked, none of this stuff was out of stock. So if it is, I will list say it is no longer available. The only card stock we're going to be using today is Whisper White. So I have my Whisper White card base. I have a card panel, and my card panel measures five and a fourth by four. And then I just have a strip of Whisper White for my sentiment. The inks I'm going to be using are Basic Black, Crushed Curry, Marina Mist, So Saffron, Old Olive, Pear Pizzazz. Okay? Now, the I'm also bringing in some foam tape. This is from my stash. You can use your stamping dimensionals. Um, but, like, if you've watched any of my other videos, when I adhere foam tape to my panel, I like full coverage. Also, if you have fun foam, fun foam is a great alternative, less expensive than foam tape. So here are the two inspiration cards. This one I had seen on Pinterest where they used craft or crumb cake cardstock and they just used the outline stamp. Their sentiment was different and they had a ribbon embellishment, but I just love the way this looked. And so since it was kind of a, a subdued look, I thought a sympathy card would be good. So I had spelled out with sympathy for um, with my labeler alphabet. So I really like how this turned out. I like the craft, um, I keep saying craft, crumb cake on crumb cake. It just gives it a nice clean look. So there's my um, sample card number one. My other sample card is this one, happy birthday. And I used the two layers for the flowers, two layers for the leaves. I used the label or alphabet again to spell out happy birthday. And I did not use the outline stamp, this one right here. So that's a different look you can get. It's almost kind of like a watercolor look. It's really pretty. With the sample we're gonna to do today, we are going to use I think I'm going to use this flower this time because I've used I've been using this one. This one's my favorite one. But we're going to use this flower and we are going to use the outline stamp this time. So, I'm going to clear everything, get everything ready and then we'll get started. All right, I have my work surface here cuz I'm going to be stamping off the page and I don't want to get it on my background here. So, I'm going to take my so saffron and I'm just and I'm taking the solid image first. 
And I like a cluster of flowers. Um, you can do it however you want, but I kind of like flowers all over the place. Um, I am leaving space though for my leaves. So I'm trying to just keep that in mind as I stamp. I can always go back and add more flowers if I want. So then I'm going to take the next image, which would be the this one, where you're going to stamp your darker color. And I'm choosing the crushed curry. Now on this stamp, my notch is right here on the right top hand corner. So it is, if I look at this stamp and then look at this image, my notch is diagonal from this big space right here. So it is where the flowers meet right here. It is across from this space, if that makes any sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my notch, the stamp over here where the flowers meet and I'm going to line it up because there's a space here so I definitely don't want to uh, stamp in that space and then just stamp down there we go now only bad thing about the little notches it's great for a mark to line up your stamp but it's easy to get ink on it okay so just be mindful of that when stamping your stamp out I kind of, um, sometimes when I make the mistake and I would go, oh yeah, I probably should um, not ink that part. Now my stamp is pretty, the notch is pretty even with the stamp. So that was just a mistake in manufacturing that really should be lower. But, um, you know, I'm just going to work around it. I stamp on the edge of my ink pad so I don't end up inking up that space. And what I like about this stamp set is that it's forgiving. Um, you know, layering stamps can be tricky to line up sometimes. But with the way this stamp set looks, it's pretty forgiving. And if you do get a little off, it's not going to be as noticeable. Because flowers aren't perfect in nature, although they look perfect. Um, you know, they're not exactly... No two are exactly the same. All right, so now I'm going to take my solid leaf image and I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I'm inking it up in pear pizzazz and I'm just going to stick these leaves randomly around my flowers. They can overlap, how, you know, however you want. There's no rule. I think we'll stop there. Now I'm going to take my outline and ink it up in, what ink color is this? Old Olive. And the leaves are really easy to line up. Next, I'm taking my basic black and I'm going to be outlining using the outline stamps for the leaves and the flowers. Oops. This is my favorite. I love this stamp. I just love the way it looks. It's kind of sketchy and just, I don't know, I like it. Oops, that was way off. Oh well. Oh well. I'm going to take the flower one. All 
I think this stamp set is, would be awesome to make your own DSP. If I was thinking, I probably would have done that with you guys. But, and then you could do, you know, 12 by 12 sheet or a eight and a half by 11 piece of Whisper White. Make your own DSP and kind of cut your panels from that. I think that would look great. Next, I'm going to take my Marina Mist and I'm going to take the dot image right here and I'm just going to fill in the white space with the Marina Mist just to kind of add a little bit of interest and get rid of some white areas because the flowers and the leaves, they're, you know, a particular shape and they actually need a lot of room. So I can't fill up the whole thing with flowers. Well, you could, if you didn't want the leaves, you could do all flowers, that would look fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, put my foam tape on the back here. And I will link um, 3M, you can get it anywhere. Amazon is the best deal I've seen, I'll link it below. Um, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell foam tape, but if you have Stampin' Dimensionals, that'll work too. All right, there is our panel. We're going to go ahead and put that aside. And then I'm going to bring in my sentiment strip here. And I'm going to make this a thank you card. So I need my basic black. And then I'm going to take my label, labeler alphabet. And I'm going to go ahead and take out my words to spell thank you. Okay, so I have my words spelled out. Um, word of advice, whatever sentiment you do, do the longest one first. That way you can kind of center how you want the other ones. So for this one, I did birthday, and then I could kind of see um, happy, you know, if you're working with a limited amount of space. I don't know. It just helped me. And with sympathy, I did sympathy first, then stamped out with. So whatever is easier for you, obviously. Um... So I'm going to stamp out thank. And I like, you could lay all these out, pick it up with your acrylic block, but I like the letters right up against each other. If you do it with your acrylic block, you will have spacing in between each letter. I don't know what it is, but you will get incredibly inky, you could, with that stamp set. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim this off. I'm just going to eye it. Add some foam tape to the back. Take my card base and I think I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do my thank you sentiment up at the top here and I'm going to go ahead and wrap my twine around the card panel, not the card base. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see. So I'm just going to pop this down right there. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down so I can tie my twine without it moving around. Okay, I'm going to tie the bow. Adjust my bow accordingly before I trim it. 
Now what I like to do is I like to take some glue dots to secure the bow so it doesn't shift. So I like to put one under the knot of the bow and then I think that'll be okay. Just like that. So really cute, really quick card. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I lay out all the cards for you. So all supplies will be listed below if you are interested. Remember, um, in the month of May, if you use the hostess code, you do receive a free pack of rhinestones from me. If um, your order is over 50 and you use the hostess code. So I will link that video above. So you want to check that video out explaining it all. But um, I really love these cards. This is a great stamp set and you can do a lot with it. I've created three different looks. Even though I like the cluster of flowers, each one looks very different. And of course this labeler alphabet stamp set is great because you can create whatever sentiment you want. Uh -huh. So, the stamp set is only guaranteed till May 22nd, and then after that, it is while supplies last. So, let me know if you have any questions, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!